So if you're thinking about buying a house, your pre-approval is a really good place to start. Now, in the world of pre-approvals or pre-qualifications, there's a lot of different places that we need to look at different things that we need to talk about, okay? Uh, and not all pre-approvals are made equal. Before we go any further, if you wanna be a smart home buyer, definitely hit that subscribe button. My name's RJ, I'm a mortgage loan advisor. I've been doing this for about eight years. I help people buy who maybe don't think that they can and they get into this wealth building game of owning a home. Owning a home is important. I love the fact that home ownership is a great tool for average, regular human beings to build wealth. I've seen it over and over again. So if you're wondering about a pre-approval, let's talk about it. Okay, so pre-approval is not just you entering your information into some website and getting a thumbs up. There's a lot of places that will try and simplify the process for you. And that's great. I think technology is awesome, but it doesn't replace an expert giving you an expert opinion, reviewing your income, your specifics of your situation, and giving you a thumbs up that says you're ready to go purchase a home. Rule number one, work with a professional you trust. Okay, you may seem, uh, maybe you're embarrassed about your finances. Listen, uh, it's revealing to maybe feel like you go through this process and you have to like let all your skeletons out of the closet, but it's important, okay? And someone like myself, I'm on your side. I'm not here to tell you no, I'm here to tell you how. And I think that's a really important thing to understand. So with your pre-approval, I'm gonna give you three quick tips, okay? One, you gotta know your dates. Two years is our magic number, okay? Two years of living history, two years of job history. So know your dates because it's gonna matter, right? If you change jobs or if you went to school or if you moved around, know your dates so you have that dialed in and ready for your actual application. Number two, have your income documentation. So that's like tax returns, W-2s, which is the piece of paper you get at the end of the year from your employer, 1099s, pay stubs, have everything in a very clean, crisp, digital copy, okay, that you can either upload securely, email or send. Have that ready, have it organized. If you don't have it, have know where you can get it. Know what a bank statement is. I get screen shots from from your apps from your bank that's not gonna work for the love of god please stop doing that know what a bank statement is okay so what you get at the end of the month it's in your document center in your online bank account okay we're gonna need to need to see that yeah there's some tools that we can use to help with that but just know just be organized okay there you go be organized to sum it up you know have a file on your computer or your phone that has all of that in there and you're gonna be in really really good shape so when it comes to getting pre-approved know your dates have your documents organized and number three answer any questions that the professional you're working with may have because like hey we might need some clarity uh, on some things and if you don't know just say hey like i don't know, let me figure that out or just be ready to give answers when you need it okay when you go through that pre-approval process it's going to be a two-step process typically okay it's going to be the actual credit application that's going to be you you know it's a full credit report you're going to provide all your details and your documentation you're going to answer some weird questions because we answer all sorts of weird questions and then you're going to provide your documentation okay two-part process for an actual pre-approval that's a review of your credit application and a review of your documentation that's when you know those two things that's when you know you've got a full pre-approval the professional you're working with should then uh, write you a pre-approval letter. Sometimes you get a generic pre-approval. For me and my team and our process, we write you specific pre-approval for each property that you're going to be writing on. We work closely with your real estate professional to make sure that your offer looks as good and as strong as it can be. Okay, so that's kind of your stamp to get out there and go shopping. Now, question we get all the time, how long does a pre-approval last? Really good question. Typically, it's 90 days, which is about how long your credit report is good for. The general rule would be, hey, look, as long as nothing materially changes, with your income or your savings, your pre-approval is pretty valid. You know, in a changing rate environment, as rates move higher or lower, your pre-approval number may be pretty sensitive uh, in that sense. If there's a big swing in rates higher, you might not qualify for as much. And the other way uh, happens as well, right? If rates plummet, you might all of a sudden be able to qualify for more as well. But the most important thing is you've got a professional you can trust and that you can communicate with clearly and regularly. And if you need somebody on your side, message me. I'll be happy to help you out.